Okay folks, most of you know by now the Phobos Grunt crashed down in the middle of the water. No damage whatsoever. We had some fairly large earthquakes just south of South America, about as close to Antarctica as you can actually be down there. Uh, we had some fairly larger earthquakes in the mid-Atlantic Ridge, and if you follow that fault that goes up the Atlantic Ocean all the way up north, uh, just to the east of Greenland, uh, we had some fairly large earthquakes up there as well. That's pretty big for that region. We're also having some flooding statewide in the Philippines. Uh, there's pretty much no part of that nation that's unaffected. We also have some flash flooding in Thailand. Folks, this one is really uh, one of those things that just makes you scratch your head and say, have you been paying attention to what you've been doing to the world energy industry? Remember when they were going to harness the power of the atom and that was going to be abundant and safe and uh, fracking was supposed to be safe. Well, I wonder how safe it's going to be to pump 24 million gallons of water into the side of an allegedly dormant volcano. Let's hope this time they do know what they're doing, but I doubt it. Folks, the Romanians have been protesting for days over the austerity measures put in place, and we told you yesterday about Greece and the things that are happening there, and we also told you that before you get too hard on the Greeks, realize that this is literally what we can expect all around the world when these austerity measures come in place. That is how bad our debt deal is. Either the debt is going to collapse us or the austerity measures we would need to put in place are too much to allow us to live uh, the quality of life or maybe even any life at all as we've become accustomed to it. Coming over and having a look at the sun, ton of new active regions in the last uh, day and a half, two days. NOAA doesn't have any of them labeled higher than beta, and we agree except for one solar active region, and there's a chance this happened after they classified it last night. It's been about 11, 12 hours since they did their reclassification. Down here at the bottom is solar active region 11401, and as you can see, very long, drawn out, complex morphology. This is a Zurich class F, and as you can see, we have different polarities uh, in the sunspots, pretty much going all the way back, turning around the limb. And since you can't draw a line in between the polarities, that's beta gamma. It has proved dangerous along with the solar active region just to the north of it as they put off a fairly strong coronal mass ejection this morning. Uh, it is not geo-effective, but these are turning towards the Earth, and of course we do have those magnetic filaments writhing everywhere. Uh, so that's pretty much the news. Uh, last thing, I got engaged last night. So uh, be safe, everyone. Have a good day.